Hey, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hola, hola. I just want to send a WhatsApp. What happened in WhatsApp? Uh huh. What happened in WhatsApp? Okay. I'm sorry, teacher. Tenía otra clase. <laughs> ah, <no tiempo. laughs> okay, okay. No problem. And I think, hey, what happened with what's up? Uh huh. What? No. Uh huh. <laughs> good, good, e good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Did I Good, good evening, good evening. Did everyone have a good weekend? Um, a little sick. A little sick, Emma. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Aida, how are you? Good? Uh, me, Aida. I think so, so. Okay. All right. Okay, I think everybody's just about connecting. Uh, I know sometimes it's difficult for the, the internet connections, but we try to do it. It's not a problem, okay? We try to do the things together. So the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to make partners. We're gonna have uh, partners. We're going to talk about our weekend. So we want to ask our partners a little bit about the weekend. What did you do? Where did you go? Things like that. Okay. So we're just going to have a few minutes. The important is to practice the normal conversations. Okay. Any questions? For this is only three minutes. So we have three minutes to talk and discuss our weekend. Aida, are you okay? Okay, maybe having some problems. Oscar, are you okay? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. All right, Oscar, we are in the groups. That way you can join your partners. So Oscar, go ahead, go for the, the group. There you go. Thank you. 
Okay, good. So everybody had a chance to talk a little bit with your partners about their weekend? Yes, teacher. Yes. Great. Now, when we talk about weekends or when we talk about things, many times we talk about our activities, right? And our partner says, hey, we did this or we did that. And that's great. Um, we, today, we're going to learn a little bit about modal verbs that we use many times when we give opinions or when we give descriptions. And those are the words, for example, can't or shouldn't. Do you remember these words? Have you heard them before? Can't and shouldn't? Yes, I remember. Yes, I remember. Yes, okay. When do we use can't? In a uh, avillary or in a villary or yes, in a villary. I don't I don't know what is the, the say. Yeah, yeah, in ability the, in the ability. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can't is uh -huh. can't is for no ability, right? So we have can't for different ways. Okay. So for example, when you use can't is for example, maybe for rules, like in, in class or in the in the office. In the office, you can't smoke in your office. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not permitted. This is can't. Okay. Okay. So it we, is also teacher. Yes. For the permission. I correct. Also for permission. Uh, so it's for ability, for uh -huh. permission, for obligations. So uh -huh. that's why that's why can't is used in many situations. But should <laughs> or shouldn't is used for opinions, for recommendations. So when you say, for example, ah. And either you should take a shower, it's a recommendation, okay? Or you should go to the movies. You should see a, this uh, Black Widow, for example. It's a recommendation. It's an opinion. But can't is many times is for the, the rules or the instructions. No. So everybody remember, when you pronounce these words, you pronounce T. T, t, t and this is can't. Can't. Mm -hmm. Good. And can't. pronounce shouldn't. 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 So that the sound at the end is t -t -t. shouldn't. 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 Okay. Shouldn't. This yeah. is the negative form. With the this is the negative word. form. Mm -hmm. Teacher, in the video, no, no se escucha mucho la, la, la diferencia. Okay, we're gonna listen to it right now so that we can hear uh, how is the sound according and then I can explain it, okay? So, one more time, give me a second. Share. Okay. This is 1.14 in the platform, 1.14. Pronunciation, can't and shouldn't. Part A, listen and practice these statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Did you hear the team? Don't worry. We're going to listen one more. Remember, I exaggerate the sound because when you exaggerate, it's easy to identify. When the people speak quickly is I can't. They don't say I can't like in the class, but they say I can't. I can't go shopping. So it's a soft, it's quick sound, but let's listen one more time. Pronunciation, can't and shouldn't. Part A, listen and practice these statements. 
Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay. Did you hear the T sound? Did you hear the T? You can't, you shouldn't go to the night markets? Yes, teacher, I yes, hear them. Clearly. Okay. So it's the same idea. When you speak, you need to make sure that you pronounce the T. It's not necessary to have exaggerated sound, but yes, it's necessary to identify. So in this moment with our partners, we're going to practice. We're going to go to our groups and we're going to practice in our groups, in the breakout rooms, can't and shouldn't. I want to give a few sentences with my partner of things that you can't do or things that you shouldn't do. Remember, can't is an obligation, okay? Can't is, mm, is not permitted, not allowed, or no ability. Shouldn't is a recommendation. So if you have COVID, for example, if you have COVID, you shouldn't go out, okay? You can't go shopping. It's not permitted. It's illegal. You have to stay in your house. It's okay, the ideas? Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, there we go. Okay. okay, perfect. So then we understand. Let's go with our partners. We have three minutes for us to practice with our partners. Either you're having problems with your connection. Aida? Me va a preguntar a alguien. Eh, <laughs> Joana, you show um, only we can in visit a family? Uh, yes, I, I, uh, sorry, I, I don't, uh, Sure, sure. Uh, visit uh, my my sister uh, for my work. Uh, I am uh, very busy in the in the week. Okay, and you, Emily. Hi, no seco. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we had a, a few minutes to practice with our partner, can't and shouldn't. Are there any questions, anything that is 
not clear or you say, hey, how do you say this or vocabulary? No teacher. No? No question teacher. Okay. Thank you. Let's check to make sure it's Edwin. Yes, Edwin Ezekiel. Uh, sorry, I don't listen with your answer. Uh, no, no. Sorry, question, question. If you, my question is, uh, is, it, is it clear? Do you understand how to use can't and shouldn't? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. So, uh, Aida, give me one sentence with can't. I think she's having problems today, no problem. Rene, Rene, give me one sentence, one example with can't. Your, your microphone, Rene, your microphone. I can a lot quiet when I practice exercise. Repeat one more time, Rene. Uh, I can't uh, a lot quiet when I practice uh, exercise. Ah, but this is no, this means no water when you practice exercise. I can't drink a lot of water when I practice exercise. So okay. it, the, the sentence, the grammar is correct, but it's not logical because if you practice exercise, it's not logical not drink water. Okay. But no, it's okay, it's good. Edwin Ezequiel, Edwin Ezequiel, give me one example, shouldn't. You shouldn't. Mm, you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't visit the El Boquero because okay. right now is the all oh, is the very cool. Okay, good idea. The grammar is no past tense. The verb not in the past tense. The verb in present. You shouldn't visit El Bosqueron. No visit it. Always in the present. Okay, we need to practice more. Let's try one more time. Joanna, give me one example with can't. Joanna. Sorry, oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, I, I can't, uh, I can't uh, finish uh, the election two in the platform. Hey, Alejandro Ernesto, is that correct? Is Joanna's sentence correct? Okay, I see your mouth. It's okay. Your microphone is on mute, but I see. Yes, you are correct. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. T -A. Yes, yes. I, I correct you, uh, Joanna. Question. Yes, it's correct. Joanna's is correct. Good. It's correct. Yes, it's correct. Okay. It's correct. Good. Thank it's you. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. Edwin Jesus, one example with shouldn't. Shouldn't you shouldn't miss the weekend market? Okay, Reina, is that correct? Is Edwin sentence correct, Reina? Uh, repeat, please. You shouldn't miss weekend the market. Yes. Okay. okay. It's more or less. It's more or less. Only Edwin changed the second time. The first time was correct and the second time not correct. The first time, Edwin, you said you shouldn't miss the weekend market. That is correct. And the All second right. time you changed. You said you shouldn't miss uh, weekend the market, but that is not correct. But the first one, yes. Okay. The weekend Thanks. market. Okay, good, good. I get we have some examples. We have, is there anyone have any questions? Anybody say, eh, a mí no me quedo claro, eh, or it's okay. Aida, do you have a question? Yes, I have a question. Uh, I don't understand when you use can't. Ah, no problem. Elmer explains. Explains when we use can't. Me teacher. 
Yes, Elmer. You use your own Elmer. Okay. <laughs> uh, we use can't when in a situation that we will not have to make one thing. Okay. Uh, and shouldn't, shouldn't uh, is only one recommendation that that something that I, that we don't have to make. Okay. Thank you, Elmer. That is correct. Can't is obligation not do, or for example, the rules. Okay. Like okay, the okay. Mm -hmm. good, good examples. Okay. I have a question. Yes, teacher. of course, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, when when the part when the company okay. partner yes, the partner. Mm -hmm. uh, she say I can't uh, finish or I can't I don't remember I can finish I can have a exercise for the platform is correct no 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 i can't I, I think she said i can't finish uh unit two in the platform Be uh, so in this in that example mm -hmm. she she don't say uh, for no es algo que ella no puede hacer o que no debería de hacer no, no, because can't has uh, obligations, abilities, and strong recommendations. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So for Joanna's example is the ability, no pude, this is the can't, I, I, or no puedo, this is I can't finish. But I can't finish. Same, uh -huh, is the same can't if you go to, I don't know, if you go to the cinema, in cinema, you can't smoke. Okay. Same. The same idea, but mm -hmm. the can't is has different meanings. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Does any other questions for anybody? Yes, teacher me, Eugenia. I have Eugenia. a question. Yes, Eugenia. In the case, in the case of that sentence, um, decir, por ejemplo, eh, no puedo terminar el ejercicio en la plataforma. Uh -huh. Pero si quiero decir, no he podido terminar el ejercicio, ¿cómo se diría? No he podido. Ajá, porque es, generalmente uno... I haven't, uno se... I haven't been able to. Uh, I haven't been able to. Teacher, I have I a have... question. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, what is the question? Uh, they haven't used the future perfect. Is the future the future perfect? No. No, no, no. What is the what is the time with the use in this For, sentence? Haven't. Haven't? Yeah. Haven't is the present perfect. Have or haven't is present perfect. It's okay. It's okay or, or no? I don't understand, but uh, have is the verb. Ben, haven't. Mm. No, no. Have is the auxiliary, is the present perfect. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Have uh, in a uses in a different forms, in a uh, verb. O un auxiliar. O sea, te lo voy a decir en español. El how puedes utilizarlo como verbo o como un auxiliar. Como verbo se puede utilizar como tener, pero como un auxiliar no significa lo mismo. Como un auxiliar solo se dice as, e. Eso significa. Excelente. ¿Qué clase anterior? 
Uh, if you're using the, in the perfect tense, uh, the have is a verb, the meaning is a verb. Is that, is, does that help you? Is that better? Teacher, yes? one comment, sorry. Eh, respecto a lo que decía el compañero Edwin, creo que fue. Eh, uh -huh. Yo estaba viendo un ejemplo. Lo digo en español para decirlo más rápido. Pero este, cuando yo digo, por ejemplo, I have been. O sea, uh -huh. eso sí es un ejemplo de usar el have como auxiliar en pasado. Correcto. Ah, ok. No, no en past, pero en present. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, porque en ese. The meaning of this is. He estado. Correct. I have been. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Ah, uh, ok. Question, teacher. Ok. Ok, el have eh, como auxiliar lo ocupamos solamente en presente. El have. No, o sea, sí, o sea, es para presente. Thank you. Me gusta como cualquier otra. Eh, present, past, future. Mm. Ok. Ok. ¿Es la única pregunta? No me queda muy claro, teacher, este, ¿cuándo vamos a ocuparlo como auxiliar? Same. Eh, eh, me too. Sorry. Eh, cuando usas eh. ¿Cuándo vas a usar eh? Ah. Lo mismo que ese es el auxiliar. Trabajé. He trabajado. Lo mismo. Cuando usas mm -hmm. el eh, es cuando usas el have. Si no usas el eh, trabajé. I worked. He trabajado. I, I have worked. Ah... Es ok, Elvin. Es ok. Elvin, es ok. I can't use that. Es como cuando diga yo tengo trabajo. Ahí sí va el how. I have work. I have work. Ya. Yeah. Es lo que uno utiliza como he ido, he estado, he no sé qué, utilizar el have. Correct. Para decirlo como en paz, en lo que uno dice, es eh, eh, lo que uno dice en español. Pero como verbo sería como en presente. Como por ejemplo, yo tengo frío, a high cold. Ahí sí se utiliza como, como diferente. Sí, es como tengo una mascota. I have, a, I have a dog, I have a pet. Porque no es un auxiliar, es el verbo. Y el e eh, no es un verbo. Cuando vos decís e eh, tu pelo, no me lo he cortado. Pues, yo lugar. Eh, por, por ejemplo, have been to los cóbanos, por ejemplo. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh. Ok. Edwin, ¿es eso ok? Teacher, podría ser como el I have go to the Vulcan, por ejemplo. Yo he ido. Oh, exacto. I have gone. I have gone to the volcano. Yo he ido. Sí. Uh -huh. No sé si al compañero Edwin. I think so. No sé. Está en mute. No sé, Edwin. Continue, teacher. So, Continue. No, no te quedó claro, ¿verdad, Edwin? Eh, la verdad es que vaya, según lo que yo entendí, bueno, es que yo a, anteriormente en el, por ahí eh, me habían explicado, había visto ejemplos que haven't se usaba como, en, en, como un auxiliar, pero en, en presente perfecto. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero no sé si es la estructura de la palabra o la pronunciación la que me está confundiendo, porque... Eh, si vieras quizás la estructura de, de esa palabra, entonces quizás ahí, o cómo, ¿cómo se deletrea esa? ¿El ese cuál, haven, cuál es, el, el haven que utilizaron? Es que el, el, el haven es como podría decir, yo no he ido como auxiliar. Teacher, 
Yes. Eh, ese, ese ejemplo que haben es como el ejemplo que tenemos aquí con taken, que dice, and have you taken anything for it? Que ocupan take con, con, con y n al, al final que dice, and have you taken anything for it? Uh -huh. Es el mismo que el que están describiendo como con have, haven, solo que aquí ocupan taken. Es lo mismo que está ahí en el chat. I haven't gone to the volcano. El haven't, yo, o sea, yo no he ido al volcán. Ahora sí, ya, ya entendí. Sí, ya entendí. Ya ahí quedó. <ríe> es que bueno. pensé que estaba usando el have, pero be, haven't. O sea, be, double, e, and then. No. Haven't. O sea, puedes cambiar el verbo. El verbo se cambia. I haven't been to, I haven't been to Europe. Nunca he estado yo en Europa. Solo se cambia el verbo. Okay. El haven't es lo que hemos dicho, que solo es el auxiliar. Dicho, sí, es que yo pienso que él, Edwin, estaba confundido con la partícula not que está contractado con el have, según entiendo yo a Edwin, ¿verdad? Y nada más, quizás decirle de que eh, el have se utiliza para el presente perfecto porque puede haber también pasado perfecto ya con el have, ¿verdad? Y también decirle a Edwin, creo que ahí también, que los verbos, como dijo usted, Tisha, van a ir cambiando y se van a ir utilizando los verbos en participio pasado para formarlos perfectos. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Ok, excelente. So, continue with our next topic. Uh -huh. Good. Good. In this case, teacher. Yes. Uh, is the same no uh, no no because you use wouldn't and wouldn't is for past Ajá, pero se, me, refiriéndome al por ejemplo perdido ganado eh, en estos casos donde se ocupa eso de estado perdido perdido eh, ganando trabajando en estos casos ya ahí quizás le, le metió otro verbo, compañero. Sí, Porque es que ya, ya fue ganando, ya es con ING. En cambio, Ajá. cuando usted dice ganado, ahí sí es el participio pasado. Es diferente. No, y si usted dice ganando, ya es con ING. Esta frase eh, la estoy poniendo textualmente, que la saqué de un, de un libro. Uh -huh. Y la vi así, y me, me, me percaté de que estaba el jabo. Entonces, no, no entendía el por qué. It's for the past. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yo no hubiera perdido. Pero te uh -huh. Y entre más, entre más le vas mintiendo, más confundido vas a estar. Entonces, se puede ir metiendo más y, <ríe> y más confundido vas a quedar. ¿Por qué? Porque quieres ir, no entendés el half y quieres ir metiéndole más todavía. No, o sea, lo que pasa es que lo vi, lo leí uh -huh. y vi el hub ahí, entonces quería saber el, más o menos la relación sí. que tenía. Sí, es la relación de E. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. O oh, en este caso, en vez del E para el presente, es hubiera. Hubiera. Uh -huh. Similar, I, I wouldn't have one. All right, let's continue on with the rest of the topics. Uh, today, in topic o en Unit 2, ya debe haber finalizado eh, Unit 1, que ya finalizamos el fin de semana. Todos deben de estar ya terminados en la plataforma. El que no, todavía tiene hoy para ponerse el día. Pero ya estamos viendo Unit 2. Unit 2 is about health problems. What are some examples of health problems? For example, what are some health problems? The stomach head. A stomach ache? Stomach ache. For example, I feel sick. Headache. You feel headache. sick. Good. Stomach ache. Cold. Cold. Mm -hmm. The flu. The I flu. My head. Ah, you burned your hand. Excellent. Very good. We have many health problems. Burn. Burn. So Sorry. here. Yes. 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 My arm is broke. Okay, your arm is broken. 
Good. Good. We're going to look at how to describe different health problems. So let's watch the video for health problems. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia. Okay. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. So let's go back a little bit and let's practice the health problems and make sure that they are clear. Okay. So everybody listen and you can repeat. Listen. A headache. 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 No, 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 no H, no H, stomach, 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 no, no H, H, no, ache, stomach, yes, stomach, 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 okay, then a cold, a cold, a cold, a cold, a cough, a cold. A cold. A cold. The flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. Insomnia. 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 Okay. It's okay. The health problems. Do you understand the health problems? Yes, I understand. A cough. A cold. Yes. A cough. Sure, please the picture a four, please. Four. Here. A stomach ache. A stomach, a stomach ache. ache. A stomach ache. A stomach ache. ache. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the what other is this? Word? Uh, what? Teacher, how do you say the second picture? Second picture is a back ache. Back ache. Back ache. Back ache. A back ache. A back ache. Correct. A back ache. A back ache. A back ache. Back ache. Back ache. Back ache. Number three, please. Number three, sore muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Okay. Are those words okay? Uh, teacher, what? what? Uh, the pronunciation number six. Six, four, five, six. Six is cough. 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 Mm -hmm. A cough. A cough. A cough. Like cough. F? Did like you? F, correct. Like F. It's a cough. Yeah. A cough. Mm -hmm. Cough. Okay. Good. Now that we have some common health problems, we're going to look, okay, I'm gone. What, what to do for those common health problems? Have some, let's watch the recommendations on what to do. Hello, welcome back. Now that we have gone over health-related words, we're ready to listen to them in context. Also, pay attention to suggestions given when we get sick. Craig, how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Uh -huh. Turn off. Enleida, can you turn off? Three for ya sabemos. 
Uh huh. And Neda, we hear that your uh, yes. Yes. communication. Yes, I hear. Very good. No, no, e escuchamos lo que están diciendo en tu casa. Ah, I'm sorry. Multiplicación. <laughs> Thank you, Nate. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. So, now we sorry. are... No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It, it's no problem. The, the important is that now we have some recommendations for health problems. We are going to practice with our partners the conversation. In the conversation, we are going to go with our partners and practice, okay? And I put the conversation in the chat or you can use the platform. Remember, also in the platform, in, we can also do the exercises from there, okay? So it's in the platform 2.3 or in the WhatsApp and you practice the conversation with your partner. One time is one person, the man, one time the woman, and then you change. It's okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. teacher. No questions? No. No question, teacher, thank you. Okay, perfect, thank you. Let's make the groups that not three, but we'll have partners. That way it makes it easier to practice.
Okay. It's okay. Any questions? No questions? Yeah, teacher. Uh, what is the meaning of just chop up? Uh, just chop up is only, only cut. So for example, they say chop up some garlic or so this is only cut. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, the Thank garlic. You. And then you chop, chop, chop. Uh -huh. chop, chop. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. The others are okay? Any other words? Awful is the meaning of horrible. That's right. Cor correct. This is awful. Any others? Teacher, in yes. the last is jar or jock? Yuck. Yuck. Mm, it's, I don't know what it is. It's like burn? <laughs> I don't no, know. No, it's, it's like wakatela. Ah. <laughs> Thank <careful>. you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm Okay, so now that we discuss some health problems, we discuss solutions. We have at the beginning, we had eight health problems, headache, uh, stomach ache, right? Sore muscles, insomnia, a cough, a cold, the flu. Do you remember? Okay, so with our partners, we are going to think of how we recommend to fix these situations. What can we do? Okay, so in our next part in 2.4, here's the example of things that we can do. We ask the question, what should I do for a cold? What should I do for insomnia? What should I do for a, a headache? What should I do for the situation? My partner gives me the recommendation. What is the recommendation? For example, it's a good idea to take some vitamin. It's a good idea to sleep, to drink tea. Different opinions for different things. How are we going to do those? Here, we're going to learn how to ask and how to give advice or give recommendations, okay? Hi, in this session, infinitive compliments will be taught. Infinitive compliments are used to ask and give advice. I will give you a quick example right now. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. And stay with us and join the explanation after the audio program. Infinitive compliments. What should you do for a cold? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Remember when we talk about infinitives, we refer to a verb with no conjugation. So notice that we use to plus verb within our suggestions or advice. So if you want to give an advice to someone, you should do it this way. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. So, Hi, in this garlic. We can see how we make it. We give our opinion. It's important. It's a good idea. It's helpful. And then we use the verb in present with to. So, for the for example, here is a cold. But maybe what should I do for insomnia? Ah, it's important to drink, uh, to not, in my case, it's important not 
not to drink coffee at night. It's important to do exercises. So if you use negative, is before the two. If you use two, only two and the verb. It's okay or more examples? More examples. More examples. Okay. Perfect. Teacher. I put in the chat to help us. Yes? When I when I want to when I want to know what is the correct verb. Mm -hmm. But what the meaning of helpful. <laughs> helpful is going to help you a lot. It, it assists you a lot. Mm -hmm. so. I put, what should I do for a headache? Teacher, I can use the next, the, the letter to use the whatever verb or the pen. Yes. It, it, whatever verb, but in present, like in the example, what should I do for a headache? It's important to whatever verb, to take an aspirin, to drink a uh, medicine, to uh, sleep all to day, go. to go, uh -huh, to relax, to uh -huh, any, any verb, but it has to be the verb in present. Okay, thank you. Giving the recommendation. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No, Joanna, remember, it's important to, it's important to drink. Uh-huh, like Reina, like Reina put, it's important to take drops. Okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes, yes, of course. What does it mean helpful? It helps a lot. Do you know what is help? Yes. Okay, so helpful is a lot of help. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put a question in the chat and everyone, everyone put the answer to make sure it's clear, to make sure it's okay. okay. I have a question before, you, before we, we start. Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand why in the first, I think it's the first question, you have two lines to, to ask for the question, but uh, you only need one, one line. The verb is to take, it put me back the answer. I think it's the right the right answer to take. No sé por qué me ahí pone dos líneas y solo necesitamos una y no agarra la, la respuesta correcta. What did you What did you put? En el ejercicio. Yes. What did you put? To take. To take. take to take some. To take some vitamins. No, no. Pero no sé por qué. Two point six. Lo pone más. Exacto. Two point six. Yes. 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 You, I, I have to see it to understand what is the mistake that you put. But you put down two different takes. For example, you put in one to take some, the other only to take, or to, to take vitamin C. Tengo que poner dos respuestas. The two takes, correct. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay. okay. All right, so let's practice in the chat. Everybody give me the recommendation. What should I do for insomnia? It's important. Drink coffee. <laughs> mm -hmm. You should to rest early. No, 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 write, write it in the chat. Put it in, write it in the chat, yes. okay. I drink coffee for to sleep. Okay. Let me see. Let me see what you're writing. Let me see yeah. how you're speaking. No, Reina. It's not correct. 
Revise qué le quiere falta, Reina. Ok, reviso. No, Rosa. It's not correct. Oscar, it's correct. Emma, it's correct. Teacher, mm. manzanilla, tea de manzanilla en inglés? Manzanilla. No, chamomile. Oh, chamomile. Okay. Oscar, what, what is your sentence? Tea. It's, it's important uh, to take tea. To take, ah, okay, it's important to take tea. Or to drink, it's better to, to drink. To drink, teacher. It's better to drink, yes. Uh, okay, sí, sorry. It's important to drink, como dice manzanilla? Come on, tea. Uh -huh. Come on, yes. tea. Okay. Norma is not correct. Norma is not correct. Mm. Joanna, no take sleep. It's a good idea to get sleep or to sleep, only sleep. The verb is sleep. Okay. No, it's okay. important to sleep, not to take, oh. not take. It's okay. important to sleep. Mm -hmm. Lourdes okay. is, is not you. correct. Teacher, ¿cuál es lo malo que tengo yo? Norma, ¿cuál es lo malo? Eso le pregunto yo a usted. Y por eso le estoy preguntando, ¿qué cree que es lo malo? Mire los compañeros y mire el suyo, ¿cuál es lo malo? Uh -huh. Check, check my... mm -hmm. Edwin, it's important to go. No, it's not correct, Edwin. Almost correct. To go bed. To go to sleep. To go to sleep. Ah, use the, the, the double two. Yes. The next. Ah, okay. Emily is not correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a ver. Norma lo encontró. Norma? It's correct, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher, no le, es que casi no le entiendo. It's important to drink tea. Sí, Norma, ¿qué es lo que no entiende? Si se fija, fíjense en los demás compañeros, pone su opinión. Por ejemplo, it's important, it's a good idea, it's nice. Y después poner el tú y después el verbo. Uh -huh. Thank you. No, 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 thank you. Póngamelo de nuevo, quiero ver la respuesta correcta. Nada de thank you, thank you, pero póngame la respuesta correcta. Please, everybody, turn off micro microphone. Teacher, uh -huh. the yes, correct yes. the sentences is, it's important to go to sleep. Correct. Ah, okay. Thank you. It's important to listen. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Teacher. Yes. Con respecto a lo que preguntaba a Ira, uh -huh. eh, se le pone take y tampoco la agarra como correcta la plataforma. ¿El qué? En ese ejercicio del 2.2 de knowledge. 2.6. Usted puso así. Take some. Sí. To take. To take, ajá. Vaya, entonces ponga to take en el segundo y ponga to take some en el primero. Es que como solo se debe de poner el verbo así con el to. To take. To take it. Entonces en el primero pone to take some y en el segundo solo pone to take. Ok, ok. Ahí me avisa. A ver. Ok. Let's see. Ok. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Ok, to take some. It's helpful to run 30 minutes. Good, Reina, good. Ok, perfecto. Ok, compañeros. Eh, muy bien, vamos a practicar mañana cómo dar recomendaciones. Hoy es solo de esto. Eh, 
todos se pueden ir menos Norma, que todavía no veo la respuesta, Norma. Thank you, teacher. It's correct. It's correct. Y le voy a ayudar, yes. Norma, porque vamos a resolver esto y no se preocupe. Pero todo lo demás, pasen buenas noches. Sí, yo. Yo. Mañana seguimos. Bye. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Norma, it's correct. Yes. Yes. It's correct, yes. Norma. Uh -huh. yes. See you in the next class. See you in the next class. Good. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank God bless. You. you too. God bless you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. To take it to take it.